It is time for the children's moments. So children of whatever ages, come on up here, and then we will have just a moment together. And I want to tell you all really briefly about a story we're going to hear in about, I don't know, 10 minutes. It is the story for the Bible. It's, you know, M&M's, exactly. Does this have to do with them? It has something to do with M&M's. Yeah. You know, it may be a tenuous connection, but there is a connection there. What we're talking about, what we're talking about is Mary and Martha, two sisters who welcomed Jesus into their house. And guess what? Martha. Martha goes to Jesus and complains about her sister. Now, how many of y'all have gone to your mom and dad to complain about your brother or your sister? Raise your hand. Everybody I has. I complain about my brother's puppy. Everybody out there, who's complained about their brothers and sisters to mom and dad? Oh, um, yes. It's typical. See, it's one of those stories that is common to us all. And it happened in the Bible, and it happened in the Gospel of Luke. But this is what I want to tell you, okay? Martha complained about Mary not helping out, not helping out with all the work to prepare the food and make people feel welcome, to make people comfortable, and Mary was, guess what? What? Sitting down. Sitting down? Sitting down at Jesus' feet, listening to what Jesus had to say. And Martha complains to Jesus and says, she's not doing any work. That's not fair. I'm doing all this work all by myself. This has to be done. And Jesus said, Martha, Martha, chill out. <laughs> because, because really and truly, it's important to listen to what Jesus has to say to each and every one of us. That does not mean that doing the work of welcoming everybody, making everybody feel welcome is unimportant. So really, truly, M&M's, the connection is, the connection is, Mary and Martha. Oh my goodness, I knew someone would get it. M&M's, Mary and Martha. M&M's. Now, on the outside, just like Mary and Martha, guess what? What? These are different. The, the orange and the brown are different. The green and the yellow are different. Of course, Katie. Yeah. Don't eat it. No. And the yellow or the red and the blue are different. But if you eat them, are they going to taste differently? No. On the inside, because they're both dark chocolate. it's all the same. It's all the same thing. It's service, yeah. and it's listening to Jesus. Except for the pretzel versions. Except for the pretzel versions. Hey, I I boom. I went before the day was started. All right, all right. Before Pastor Craig, <laughs> I died. Remember, eat on, no matter how different they are on the outside. On the inside, it's the same. It's the same. They taste the same, no matter what the color shell is on the outside. Can we test that? No. You can, you can definitely test it under the supervision of your parents after the service. So, bow your heads, please, and pray with me. Dear God, Dear God, thank you for your church. Thank you for your church. A place like this. A place like this. Where we can learn. And we can learn how best to serve each other. How best to serve each other. And listen to your word. And listen to your word. And understand. And understand that they're both important. That they're both important. All this we pray in your name. All this we pray in your name. Amen. Amen. Now, I promise you, these M&Ms will be on the snack table after the service, because Pastor Craig doesn't need a single one of them. <laughs> <laughs> now, you are cordially invited to go sit with your parents.